boys and girls, it's Mrs. Metzer again. I really miss you guys, but I'm so glad you're watching some videos. Um, and today I'm really excited because I want to start cursive with you. If we were in school, we would have already started. So you guys are being gypped right now. And I love cursive. And I love cursive because some of my favorite relatives, when I write to them, like my Aunt Sonia and my Aunt Arlene, would only write back in cursive. And it was really important to me to be able to read their letters and to and to write back. It shouldn't cursive should not be a secret message that you can't decode. Okay. And I know a lot of us are anxious to start cursive, and I really want you to take some steps at the beginning to make sure that you are learning it the correct way so that you are able to read and write it, you know, as you move forward. The other thing you have to remember is that even though it looks super cool, it is kind of work, okay? It is something you're going to have to work at a little bit and really pay attention to the way that the letters are made. We are not creating a picture. A lot of people, when they're learning to write cursive, they just want their finished product to look as nice as the, the one that I do. But your goal should be cr creating the letter the proper way because if you do it the proper way, you're going to have these things called connectors. When we write in print, which is the way you're used to, you write a single A, then you write a single B, then you write a single C, right? And you keep going like that, and you leave little spaces between them. When you write in cursive, if I write A, and then a B, and then a C, you'll notice that I did not take my pencil or my marker off the page. That's what makes cursive so easy once you get good at it. It makes it, you'll, you'll be able to write more quickly and neater in cursive than you will in print. But you have to learn how to do it the proper way and that includes these connectors. So the letters that I'm going to start showing you today, well first I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do one, one a day. I'm gonna start with A, okay? And do you see how I created my own little whiteboard here, boys and girls? I just took a, a sheet protector and I put normal paper into it. So I can use this piece of paper over and over again. And I'm using my whiteboard marker. So this might be something, you know, if your parents are, are looking for some easy school supplies for you that you can reuse, this would be a good one. Okay. Regardless, you should use paper that is lined, okay, to try to help you with your spacing and the sizing of your letters, because that's actually really important when you're learning cursive. We're gonna start with the lowercase a. And when you make the lowercase a, it's really important for you to start on the bottom line. If you look at the way I'm holding my paper, I'm not holding it straight. I write with my right hand, so I tilt my paper to the right. I use my left hand to hold my paper in place, and then my arm is parallel to the paper. See the space? I actually, I don't hold my arm straight. I hold my arm in line with the paper. I start on the bottom line, I go up and around, I stop at the top, I trace back down, come up, close the circle, go down and out. So watch again. Up, stop, come around and close the circle, go down and out. This is where the previous letter would connect to the A, and this is where you would continue connecting to your next letter. I'm gonna try to zoom. Watch the next letter. Start at the top, up and around. Stop, go around and close your circle. Come down and out. Up, stop. Come around and close the circle. Down and out. A lot of cursive is retracing your letters or retracing lines, okay? Up and around stop. Now you have to trace back around and close the circle and go down and out. A lot of times what kids try to do is they do this with that and that. Does it look pretty good? Yes, it does. But is that cursive? No, you're creating a drawing. I don't want a drawing. I want a cursive letter A, okay? So I'm going to tell you two things. One, don't do that. And two, skip some lines so you leave nice space for yourself and you can focus. If you look at my first line, I only did one, two, three, four, five letters across that whole line. That's because when I'm learning, I don't have to do a ton of these. I have to do a few very well, okay? 
Don't try to fill the whole entire paper. Nonstop A's. Give me 10 or 15 really good ones and you'll get more out of it, okay? So let's try to refocus here. I'm gonna skip a line. I'm gonna start again on the red line on the bottom. Put my pen down. Go up and around. Stop. Come back and close the circle. Go down and out. Leave a space. Up and around. Close the circle. Down and out. Up and around. Close the circle. Down and out. Up and around. Close the circle. Down and out. Up and around. Close the circle. Down and out. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you a couple ideas or a couple things that um, people do incorrectly. <laughs> okay, I showed you the first one, which is where they make a drawing, right? So people go like this and like that and like this. This looks fine if you're making an A in isolation. But, but the purpose of cursive is not just to make a single letter. It's to be able to write words. So we don't want to do that. Another mistake people make is they want to start at the top and go around. This is fine, except for if A is in the middle of your word. For example, if you were writing the word cat, you would start with a cursive C, and then you would get here and go, oh, well, when I start A, I start up here. And then I could go down into my T. Well, now you have two letters that aren't attached. And that is, that's not how we do cursive, okay? So it is important for you to start on the bottom line because that's your connector, okay? Let me show you that word cat again. C, A, T. Do you see how I was able to go right from the C up into my A and then right from the A right up into my T? That's how cursive is meant to be done, where the letters connect automatically. And having this beginning and having this end, those are your connectors. Those are important, okay? I'm gonna skip a line and go down. Another mistake a lot of kids make is their spacing, okay? Or their sizing, I'm sorry, not their spacing. A lot of times kids don't really pay attention to the line. That is a beautiful A. However, it is not lowercase. It's almost capitalized. Did you know that the capital A is just like the lowercase? Only the size is different. So size and cursive is really important, okay? We're not making a capital A today. We're gonna do all of our lowercase letters and then we're gonna go back and do capitals. So I don't wanna see any, any A's that go all the way up to this top line. Your A should start on the bottom line, go up to the dotted line, come around, close the circle, go down and out, okay? After you do, like I said, 10 or 15 good single letter A's, I want you to practice your connectors, okay? So down below, you would just practice linking A's together. So I'm gonna do two A's to start. A, right up into the second A. Start on the bottom, up and around, close the circle, down, and instead of going out, I'm gonna go straight up into my second A. See how they're connected? Watch again. Up and around, close the circle, down, but right up into that second A. Okay, then I'm gonna do three. One, don't pick your pencil up, go right up into your second A, go right up into your third. Leave a nice space because this, if this were a word, I would want a space between my words. Just like when we print, we still need a, a space. Okay, you need a space between your words. Okay, so then you would practice connecting those A's together. Remember, don't rush. Remember your connectors. Remember your sizing matters. We're making lowercase A's, not capitals. Okay, there are always people who get a little messy at some point. Somebody is going to hand in something that looks like that. That's too messy. I don't want to see that work. Okay. Keep it neat, keep it nice, do your best. Just because we're not in school and I'm not necessarily checking this like normal. You know, if you work on cursive and you wanna show me, ask your parents to take a picture and text it to me. I would love to see your work, okay? And that's not just for cursive, that's for anything. All right, I miss you guys. I'm really glad that you're working hard still. Bye.